Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be starting a video series on an introduction to algorithms in Python. Most of these algorithms are going to be, uh, are going to be pretty basic, so there shouldn't be too much to really learn and follow, but um, you may have to kind of focus a little bit more on these tutorials than the other ones because algorithms are a big part of programming and they're also, in my opinion, the most difficult part of programming. So what is an algorithm if you don't know? Algorithms, pretty simple. You probably know at least one. When you were in elementary school and you had to learn how to add like all those different uh, numbers and all that stuff, you may have realized something. If you add a number to nine, there's a shortcut to it. Maybe you don't know this, maybe you do. If you do, it's an algorithm. It basically is like this. You have 15, and you want to add that to 9. So basically, here, let's just write the algebra equation. n plus 9 is the same thing as n minus 1 plus 10. So, if you were to have a number of n for example 7, you would add that to 9, that's equal to 16. But it's you could also write 7 minus 1 plus 10 is equal to 16. And it's easier this way just because 7 minus 1 is equal to 6, and adding by 10, so 6 plus 10 is a lot easier than 9 plus uh, 7 and you still get the answer 16. So that's pretty much a basic algorithm. Now the one we're going to be doing is a lot more uh, complex. We're going to be taking all the numbers that are uh, multiples of 3 and 5 under the under I think 1000, let me check. Yes, all the numbers below 3 and 5 um, all the numbers that are multiples of 3 and 5 under 1000, we're going to add them all together and use that number as our answer. This is a project Euler.net um, problem, it's the first one, and that's project Euler.net, like that. Not Euler, it's Euler, trust me. Anyways, so how are we going to begin this? Well, we don't have to import any modules, and there's no modules for algorithms, by the way if you were wondering that, but we don't need any modules for this particular algorithm in the first place anyways. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take all the numbers under a thousand. So four X in one thousand. Oops, my bad. In X range of one thousand. So we're taking all the numbers that are below a thousand. Now what do we want to do? we want to check if there are multiples of 3 and 5. What operator will check if it's a multiple of a number? Well, really simple, it's the modulus. Now the modulus basically divides and then returns the amount of numbers that, um, the amount of like values that weren't able to be evenly divided. So for example, nine divided, um, 10 divided by 9 would return uh, 1 because 9 goes into 10 one time and then there's a remainder of 1. So it returns the remainder, I guess, would be the best way to say that. But if you were to do something like 9 divided by 10, you get 0. So here's what we want to do. We want to take all the numbers below 1,000, and we want to say if x, so this will be 0, and then it will be um, 1, and then 2, and then 3, and so forth. So if x um, modulus 3 is equal to 0, or x modulus 5 is equal to 0, and this is where we're going to need a new uh, variable. So we'll make this one, uh, we'll just say sum n. And that has to have a value, so equal to 0. Okay, so 
if it follows those rules, if it's modulus 3 is equal to 0, modulus 5 is equal to 0, either one of those, then what we're going to do is uh, say sum n is plus equal x. So we'll add that value. Now here's what we need to do. As I said before, it returns the um, remainder of it. So, for example, if we were to do 7, we'd get 1. If we were to do 8, we'd get 2 for modulus 3. And that would be different for 5 with other numbers as well. But there's a piece of that. That means that 1 modulus 3 would be 0. 2 modulus 3 would be 0. So we have to take away basically 3. Um, right off the bat. Now, 0 uh, modulus 3 is going to be equal to um, 0 as well, but we can't, well we can, but we don't really need to take away 0 from that. So that will be fine. Anyways, uh, I already know what the answer is supposed to be for this, so let's just run this real fast in the terminal just to check what um, we get. So we'll name this um, Euler uh, dot pi and we'll save that to the desktop okay and we will run it uh, oops <laughs> I forgot the important part print sum in because we need to have it return the value alright so we get 233168 now that is actually the correct answer. Um, I did say that like 1 modulus uh, 3 was equal to 0, but it turns out it's not because it does work a little bit differently. Here to your 3 modulus 1, we get 0 because there's no remainder. But when you modulus something, if it doesn't go into it at all, so like uh, for example, 4 modulus 3, you always get 1 if it doesn't go into it uh, evenly, even if it's less than it. So, oh, my bad. 2 modulus 3. You'll always get a number that is not 0. And um, it's just a little weird. So, sorry, I didn't really explain that and I kind of forgot about that part. Um, otherwise, I would have never said that. Uh, we had to take those away, but we didn't, and that's why I ran it. Had a hunch, but wasn't sure. Anyways, so two three three one six eight is the correct answer, and here is the algorithm that we use to solve it. Now, if you log into ProjectEuler.net and you do these yourself, you'll find that there are forums, and a lot of people on there use Python as well. And so there are a lot of other solutions. You may find ones that are just like one line. Like, you may not even have to deal with any of this. They'll just say, like, uh, you could make an introspection list. So for x in range of 1,000, and then have your if statements in the list, and then just have it all add the list at the end, or something like that. But this is the um, pretty basic little algorithm for it. Well, I guess mainly this is the algorithm right here. The rest of it's just little bits... Uh, of extra information. Anyways, I hope that this uh, is helping you guys learn what algorithms are and how to use them. If you have any questions on this video or how we got the algorithms to do what they do, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below or PM me. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you guys later.